Upper Cumbridge uh, land bedder, bedra, however you pronounce that bit. Um, so we've sort of driven on the way back from South Wales, um, gone past Broth Wells, we sort of that area. That's a picture of where we're going. It says Old Stone Pack Horse Bridge over the bracing uh, Grin Facken Stream, pool below, and beach with small waterfall pools just upstream. That's where we go next. So we're starting off looking down a very small dead end lane. We're in a very, very typical oldie worldy village just here. There's the camper and Arthur. Red line in church. That's where we're headed. So the single track road turned into a bit of a muddy path. So I'm glad we didn't bring the camper down here. I can hear water. Water, yeah, over that way somewhere. So we're headed down there. So we're down the path. I wouldn't really call it a path. It looks like there's been quite a lot of rainfall here, washing stones and muds and everything down the path. But we're just coming up to this very old bridge, which is the spot of the swim. So there's the, not quite a river, maybe it is, more of a brook. Yeah, it looks lovely. Just down the other side looks like a spot where you can get down into the brook. This is a great little spot here. Good spot for washing. I think if we walk a little bit further, farther down there, we can actually get right down, get right down to the water. Because what we've done is we've brought <laughs> the washing up. Because and, um, and Arthur, we um, sort of ran out of water, but rather than fill up and then drive, I'm having to go at um, only drive. Well having minimum or no water in the camper when we are driving so it just seemed no point in filling up because we only had a little bit to wash up so we thought we'd bring it down here we've obviously got eco-friendly uh, uh, washing up liquid yes we can look down here next to sort of this like natural weirs as the um, as the the river runs through the the valley and that's the spot where we can get right next to the water which hopefully you can hear now a weir slash waterfall lovely spot this is definitely definitely where i'm going in for a paddle because i'm also a bit hot and sweaty from the day oh that's fantastic just love the wild guide book it's amazing how they've found all these hidden and wild spots Brilliant. I what bird that was just flying over there. I didn't quite see it. This is a lovely spot. All right, next stop, washing up. Okay, right, so we're going to have a go at Arthur doing some filming. So it may or may not work. Yeah. But uh, anyway, what we're going to do... I'm nervous yeah. because I've only done my video diary thingies. There you go. You hold that then. Okay. Don't press the screen. That's it. You've got to talk. I what? do a camera. There's a camera. There you go. That's okay. it. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in. Here we go. I mean, I have just been... Dun, 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 dun. Wow, he has just been in, and he, wait a second, uh, wait a second, he's just been over there, yes, <laughs> I rinsed him down with that a bit, um, I'm gonna play up there with the stick, and there's just another stick right over there that I'm going to use. And there's my dad. He's tiny on the screen. Oh, with his floaty clocks. Okay, let's go a bit closer. Come on, 
missing them now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Definitely invigorating. <laughs> that is definitely invigorating. Stay away from the camera when you're wet. Well, I'm gonna wash wash my hands. But so, do you know where we are? No, I forgot. <laughs> I couldn't tell you either. <laughs> I do. Well, I do know. I just can't remember the name. <laughs> anyway, let me grab that. Okay. Oh, your hands are dry now. Yeah, that's it. There we go. It says often I'm recording these on my own, so I can't record myself getting in the water. But um. This is a pretty idyllic place. Oh. Just love the getting that book and being curious. We're finding such beautiful spots, including yeah. off-grid washing. So uh, that's it. We're going to stay here for a bit longer. We're going to uh, enjoy ourselves for a little bit more. Um, but for this adventure, we're going to call it a day. Um, yeah, also, if you're doing that, if you're gone. If you need black spot removing, just ask me. Oh, great, that's perfect. <laughs> I um, need my dad's black spot. Yeah. And like um, if, uh, yeah, if you're curious about living an off-grid life or about living climate positive and doing the things that you can, that you've got the power to do, then just check us out on social media, Nafford Junction. or oh. No. Oh. Social media, Nafford Junction. Oh. Or the website that's got... Um, six quick ways to get started called vote I sort of called it vote yeah. vote with your money because how we spend our money has a major impact in the world and yeah. if we spend our money wisely then companies will just start to stock and sell more of those wise products even if they care or not but either way we win Yeah. there's a, a road map yeah. with uh, a lot of uh, hints and tips and ways to live climate positive from easy to difficult things to do and there's the company directory of uh, purpose-driven companies and most of them I actually buy from it took me a long time to put it together um, and if it can help then uh, this is a long-winded way of saying go to the website and check out vote roadmap and directory Daddy, my face is chopped in half <laughs> yeah it is chopped in half all good that's it for this Arthur and Daddy adventure yay